Right, so for today's one, we're going to play Koloth. I know this is an old game, but it was on my list to play eventually to try out. Since I keep seeing it everywhere, my recommended games. So we'll just carry that. And we'll turn down that. Alright, game. Starts on English, English, English. Audio. Okay. Controls. Okay. Let's boogie. Holot. Play up the sounds and music on for better effects. Use your headset. Fifty-six years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Then this is real life stuff. Their journey to have. seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Act one, let us go. Right into the town we go. The only thing I know of this game is the fact that it's the instant of what the backstory is, actual real life history. And that uh, the super best friends played it a couple years ago in their Halloween events. Though they didn't get very far. And it was only a one off, so 
That's all I can say, and I haven't watched that video in years, so I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. But the snow is pretty. I have the game now, the visuals are great. So we gotta climb the mountain, looks like. People must crouch, zoom. Left stick is to run. I need to hold it, it's not a click. Judging by the breeding, we are playing a female character as well. Yeah, that's a female voice. It's been a while since I've... No, it was deep called Veronica. Well, let's go to the spooky woods then. Floor's glowing. All right, we got a spooky cave. Shit. How the hell did we end up down here? It doesn't look like there was anything up there. The light went out and I vanished. So which way do I walk? I'll just walk straight. I welcome the end with delight. Mm, do I see any shelter? Talk about white oak conditions. It's getting darker. What the hell? Okay, the game's throwing me around, so I guess I was in that direction. I think I can see something, or else that's just my vision being shitty. Alright, that's my own footprints on the footage. I can see fuck all. Is I supposed to find something in this way out? What's that? It's a camp. Here we go.
Spooky. So we got lost in the woods. Again. Alright, so that was act one, it looks like. Done. Now we just wait for this loading screen. Ever tried to hold on to your humanity when others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will? When they told you, okay, so we're they deserved to inside a big tent now and no longer in a white house. Remember your sins when they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is, it's in their dark. Looks like there's a radio tower to the top right. Alright, can we move? I suppose we follow the yellow brick road then. The atmosphere is great for this anyway. I don't know what's gonna jump out at me though. Could be lions, tigers, and bears on my. Or a crater. The meteorite. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometre and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Oh, hey, you can zoom in on the right. Sports articles diary logbook. Hello. Okay. Demonic shit's going on. And that looks like. Different people ran off in different directions. Okay. Shall we? How do I bring up the map? There we go. So we are here. Our campsite is here.
So, which way is north? Okay, so that's the campsite. That's our campsite there. Which means that way is north. Yeah. Okay, so looks like these are all the locations we have to go to. So N62. North 37 is the location of this. Okay then. Well, that's because it has the fucking symbol next. So N52 7. It's like north that way. So. Which direction? I might as well take this one where the moon is. Or should I? Yeah, let's go this way. Let's try this pass here. I'm gonna check the control, see if I can turn it from hold the to toggle. Controls. Da, 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 da. So, A is use, Y is map, X is flashlight, compass is right trigger, or zoom is left trigger. There's no way to make it auto. Toggle run. You assume we're getting frame rate drop. What the hell is that? Mountains glowing. What was I? Got a barrel pack of wolves coming. Some wolves. Yeah, I'm awesome. There's a bridge over there. Yeah, scrap paper, boy. Mysterious lights above the Savabon, the Savabodni Cosmodrome. Mysterious lights in the sky were noted during the night of the 4th to 5th of July. Witnesses testified they'd seen a bright orange sphere which may have crossed 
which had crossed the night the sky above the city several times moving chaotically and immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally it stopped and disappeared. Major Gierka and an aviation professional confirms it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. The military and Cosmic Jones personnel answered our questions in short and firm way to the existence of the event involving a star activity near as well as no test before. Well Aliens! They probably look like a roast chicken. I don't want to continue down our path. Boom! Broken bridge, and there's no jump button. We have to find a long way around. There's something in there as well. Look at all those banners or flags, it looks like. And we're in the last shot, so there'll be no Native Americans. Far. Can I drop it down here without breaking my back? Yeah. Let's inspect the fireplace. So we are down here. Found a page there. Oak bridge there. And let's check out this fall tree. Okay, we can't check out the fallen tree. Well, according to the map, this is a road anyway. And it goes this way. Higher grips on those. Are there native Russian people? Like, it's equivalent of Native Americans and that in Russia? Alright. We have spooky shit happening. A volcano it looks like. We discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. Oh, achievement. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team and afterwards, they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, and I entered the forest. Dun dun dun. I suppose we better head back and get off this crazy mountain. Mm, 
us a broken bridge. It's a long drop. We gotta go back all the way around. How am I gonna get back across to the? I dropped down a cliff. Spooky Mountain. So this is whatever is down this side of the path is what we're looking for next. We discovered the first So we'll be heading this type of direction. Hey, what was that? Oh, there's a page over here. Alright, Saversky is a closed city in the Tomsk Oblast, Russia, located 15 kilometers, 9.3 mi, northwest of Tomsk, in the right bank of the Tom River, and is in the hands of Rosatom Federal Atomic Energy Energy. Agency founded in 1949 and was known as the Piatti Kotsubek. The fifth postal town status was granted in it in 56. It comprises several nuclear reactors and chemical plants for separation and ritual reprocessing of uranium and plutonium. The headquarters of the Russian Research Unit for Natural Phenomena until 1991 called the Soviet Research Union. The unit's activities concern research on occurring natural disasters in Russia. Okay, so we're in the middle of a nuclear territory. Explains all the crazy shit. Nah, it's a uh, barren wasteland. Exactly, Russia is nuclear territory since it's no nuclear power. Okay, it's going dark. I think I saw camp in that direction. Oh shit, what is that? Oh shit, coordinates. 67 and 70. Shit, shit, shit. You died. Let's try it again. You know, I don't think I actually want to go back that way. Now, let's try it again. This time, if we see anything spooky like that, we'll try and run by it or run away from it. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we gotta go up there. Bah! I got a page anyway. Don't tell me I've completely screwed myself over. I shot this direction. Shit, there's another one. Is that cabin anyway we saw earlier? Okay, so let's go back to that cabin because this is where we found that page earlier. I just want to get my bearings. Keep an eye out for the purple footprints anyway. I don't want to run into whatever the hell that thing is. I'll try and find a safe spot to read this shit as well. As we saw, we can get fucking eaten by that thing. Let's head in this direction. See enough to go to left. I hear Paige. Sitting in room number twenty three, although Okay. I guess it'll try and
I'm gonna go check by the cliffside. That's a big forest. Oh. We are sitting in. Is this thing like Slenderman where the more pages I get, more of these things are gonna pop out of what works at me? Dude, going that way. Just keep running. Just keep running. There's the cabin again. Okay, get back down to the road. Big old pitfall trap. Alright, let's keep going. Fuck. Where the hell am I? I need to get back to where I was. There's the cliff edge, so if I go this way, I should find that. The cabin again. One of the ghost boys is just directly ahead of me. Yeah, that's obviously a trap now looking at it. It's one of the ghost boys. Oh, that's a dead end. Just follow the mountain.
We met a group of Mansi people. They have weird tools. I think they're for hunting. We've also encountered local hospitality when we were not allowed to enter the railway station because we were singing too loud. But we received a very warm welcome from the local school. We had a bit of time, so we met with the students and told them about our expedition. When we reached another station, some... Let's keep going. something in the cave here 69 and 70 mm, that's one of the pages I found So I guess that's how you find the page, it's just find the coordinates. It looks like you have to write down the coordinates though as well. Mm, looks like there's a page, page ahead here. None of these do not exist. We're normal speakers or whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where the hell are we anyway? Oh, I guess I'm around here. So we came up there. Big spooky forest here, but if you go up and to the left, it'll reach back to the main stone area. Oh, I'll keep going. Just need to keep an eye on the ground, though, in case we find any more of those footprints. What was that? Another one of them totems? Let's check down here then. What was that? Something's creaking. Ah, oh, it's the ice creaking.
Und I hear Paige. There's a page. You're slept in something you could call a hotel. Two persons per bed. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast, packed our things, and at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. We cooked and ate dinner, and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps. The rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. Right. This map. We are here. It's the way down. Path sent us this way. I guess I gotta go back from this way. that way so let's go up here Spoopy glowing stuff. Dangerous criminal has escaped. We're up here. It could have been what we heard when we were down bottom area. Mm. Just need to keep an eye out for red footprints. This way. I should explore more of that area. I've been been through there for all of area. So we went that way, of course, so let's go this way.
we got red logs. Something weird's going on. Looks like that mist is closing in. Chances to have the spooky tree up here. And the big spooky tree has a page on it. For a very long time, I could not come across any trail. The tracks came and went as if someone was playing with me, as if the victims were moving. And as soon as I was almost sure I had seen something and I would find something new behind the next tree, the trail suddenly went cold. I had no idea what was going on. Finally, I reached a small meadow. There, I found a bound journal, as if someone left it there on purpose. The journal belonged to the members of the expedition. They wrote down their thoughts and observations. Uh, note. There were also some obscure entries, probably taken down in the dark, concerning the situation they were in. This could shed some new light on the case. I am attaching the journal to this report. We have to control the conduct of the investigation, and at a certain point stop the information flow. The facts concerning the incident cannot be made public in any way, shape or form. Right, while we're here, let's we also... Are sitting in room we are sitting in room number 23, although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. 7 a.m. We're finally yeah, I saw that one. We slept in something you could call. Alright. Read that one. So Union National Guard and the guards of Anomaly 0H91 took place in 1553 in the area of Garka by the destruction of the Transpolar Medic Line. The books were halted and misclassified, any witness were ordered to be eliminated. 1750 of October, October 1951, 17th. That can. Five to the west of my garage city, and that is one of course. The bodies literally evaporated after the death of 42 co workers. workers. Bodies did she evaporate and only shadows were left as the witnesses testified the incident was sudden and short. The next incident took place three years later on March 1453, and also in the Mo Mansion Camp, a solid effect occurred. The bodies of top workers just froze after ophthalmology, they were cleared dead. Their bodies are still lying intact in Section 12 of the Severus Research Complex.
Mysterious lights. Since you are an energy, you are science to talk about the events from our past shows and turn you on to this open. Okay, shit's going down. Cover ups. Where do I go from here? Uh, let's go this way since the other way had all that gas. Check this. Yep, still good. Here, page. That page to the left here. Movies up here. There it is. The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m. we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. Oh, shit, we're down. Alright, let's check the map, see where we are. So I think we're here now. So that's the forest area there. Back to the way we were going before we took a detour for that page. Right, let's go back this way, just double check. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Something hidden around the tree. Yeah. I check the left side of this area now. Oh, there's one of those totems again. There must be something this way. Or not. Did that whole forest just die? It looks like the whole forest barked down when we ran through it. Shit. 
Jesus. So it wasn't gas, it was a forest fire. Totem. And twenty eight eighty five. Just about there. So there's another one there. Just go around the forest fire. <laughs> I think we can go through this way. Oh. Well, let's keep going around the forest and then we see where we can go to. And go to that one coordinate set we found. Down to our right is the forest fire area. Yeah, it looks like it was. I'm coming down to a large plains area, not to know. Those large mounds are the uh, explosives we saw. So we should be about up here. That's where our left should be. That path should lead us down to that zone. So we're probably gonna try and go this way. I'm 
just hear the ice sounds like the ice cream or whatever the hell is making that weird noise. Now the crater is making a weird noise. I think I'm getting deja vu here. Didn't even... The forest on our left should be where we found the monster earlier. This is that tree we saw when we first came to this area. And to the left is the tree I walked across. Radio tower as well. What is this? Somebody's in the main building here. There's a page here, though. Nice, they found an anomaly, saw angels, and decided to get out and we'll test. So let's see what's down here. Resists, but defends itself from what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact the fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember, but in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. I set out the moment I... Spooky. Get the hell out of here. Time does not heal wounds, as I've recently learned. This truth was pounded into me by pain, cruelty, and lies. I learned from this, 
I remembered. It nearly touched the essence of my understanding, becoming the revelation of truth, when they dragged me down the corridor with my shattered bones. When they operated on me to observe the misplacement of my organs, when they put the worst nightmares into my head, when they closed me up, put me together again and revived me over and over to test the limits of my endurance. And when finally, after so many years, they told me my wife was dead. Time does not heal wounds. Alright, I suppose we're done up here. Let's head down the mountain. There, let's go that way. Mm, there's a page here. Deja vu at this spot. See some red footprints. totems. Mm. 
There's some skis. Alive corpses are run to death and so we were in any other town in Siberia, we were supposed to be in the most famous for the most famous for five corpses. No, they placed it on the ruins. Spooky ghost. Oh, not our red mist again. He's always under fire. Let's go left. Now this is a dead end, so let's go right. Scientists were up to brains. I still see that ghost up there. So I gotta find a way to that church. Yeah, well, there it is.
Oof. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look, but it looked like something was sticking out, or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. Well... We are... Can I leave this area, or am I stuck in here now for a while? Alright, the mist is going away. Oh, another campfire. So we are here. How many pages? Are so we have found. Well, three, four, three, four. We have four more of these things to find. So it's probably up there, maybe up here. Around here, maybe. Lovely. We've also found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pages. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pages. I think Red is like block 28, I think, in this game. Bridge right here. Let's check under here. There's a totem. And another totem. And there's a page. Scientists went out looking for a death valley. I think this fear we were in they found destroyed buildings and stuff. Keep 
going. That's a tree. Fifty eight and twenty five. Which was that note we found there? Let's get a little beauty area. Six eight thirty four. Under that tree there. Say nothing. Let me in, and I'll see for myself. under the bridge itself. Oh, oh there's paths here. Alright, we're back up here. No. This is where we came from earlier. That is that tree branch we walked down before. So I think we went straight or left. Excuse me. Now what snook up on me? Way. 
looks like that way was dead end or that's the way we came from earlier. I hear another page. Oh, I might be up there. Yeah, there's a bridge up there. We can have to find a way around. Let's go to the rope bridge. There, so we're about here. Right, let's go back so we can find anything else. did have to walk around that way. And then here, I'm gonna go back and see if I can walk around across the road bridge to the left area. suggestions of going back but that was outvoted we set off at around 10 a.m going the same mansi trail as we did earlier we encountered a small camp of a local hunter during our hike we asked if he had hunted the other night but he said no he told us a story about a ghost prowling through the forest in the form of a bright fog obviously this did not make us feel better we kept on going forward Today, the hike was slow and difficult. The visibility is close to zero. The temperature dropped to minus 24 centigrade. Around 4 p.m., we had to start looking for a place to set up a camp. We found a good spot on the verge of the forest, covered from the wind. As exhausted as we were, we began setting it up. We were too tired to dig up a hole for the campfire. We ate dinner in our tents. We had no strength for any discussions or thoughts. At night, I clearly heard someone walking around the tent. I heard them whispering my name. I do not want to talk about it with the rest of the group. They'll think I'm going crazy. Come 
go across this? Yep, we can. I hear another page. Yeesh, the kids saw what happened, it's going crazy. So we go back to the central area and see where we can go from there. Maybe we can go that way. Let's see if we can hear any pages. Hopefully we can find a campground so we can see where we are on the map. Oh, there's a campground, it looks like. Looks like it looks like we're at a lake somewhere, maybe it's here. Yeah, because there's the two we found there, that's school rock there. It's not a campground. Music starting up. Okay, let's go up here. Okay. 
Okay, those are spooky. Alright, we're into cult territory, it looks like. Are you coming to me? Something spooky has to happen. Nope, not going that way. We climb. Shit. Shit, that thing's in the cave. Let's investigate down here first before we head up the mountain. Stuff about delusions. All right, let's head up the mountain. Fingers. Looks like a nose. Where are you? Shit, there's one of the creatures. Another one of them skulls as well. So, oh, there's a page here. We set off quite late today. I think everyone heard something at night, but they are afraid to admit it. I walked around the tents, but didn't notice any tracks. We didn't talk too much. We barely hiked two and a half miles. We got the impression that something clearly changed around us. I felt someone was observing us, and I think the others had a similar feeling because they mentioned the hunter was heading in the same direction. We won't make it any further. I think we'll stay here. Wow. Shit and bricks. Speaking of shit and bricks, where the hell did that monster go? It growled at me and disappeared.
Okay, hello. 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 Holy shit. The sun is just starting to set. I see it like I am there myself. As if I'm standing there in the middle of the forest. I'm not sure what is going on with reality. I'm writing with my own blood on a tree. My own name. Anton. No, not mine. His. The sun is just starting to set. Orange mist. Orange mist all around. I, I see their bodies coming out of the woods. I hear a scream. A horrific scream of terror. Is that my voice? I think it is. Where's Anton? Where did he come from? How did he get in? The sun is just starting to set. He's in me. He's in my head. He's coming in through my eyes. The eyes are windows to the soul. He has no soul. Where is Anton? I... I'm dropping in a bottomless abyss, falling into the past. Dead and rotting hands are catching me on my way down. I can feel them whisper into my ear. Now you are ours. You will never leave us. I'm calling him. I'm calling Anton. Where is Anton? I don't know. I see nothing. My eyes are overflowing with blood. I have to escape. I have to run away. I have to start running. The sun is just starting to set. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh shit, I Alright. Time to run. Again. Okay. Oh, it's kind of far. Shit, there's that red mist again. We are up here. I know we're not. We're up here. Warp here. <laughs> go this way. We didn't go this way before. There's Devil's Mountain anyway.
Oh, hey, there's a page over there. Let's keep going. So that's where Skull Rock was. Wonder if I've been anything spine there that we missed. I don't think I went this way. If I did, I can't remember. I think I went left. What happened? My game crashed. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's see where we end up. If I'm back at the start with no save progress, I'm gonna call it there. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, where the hell am I? I'm back here. So I'm going back to where I left off before I got kicked. Also, actually, over here. Too bad. No. There's no tracking. It's not good or games. It's just one and done. Hopefully this won't crash again. If it does, then I'm gonna call it there. Back at that lake, anyway. Oh, my head. 
advantages. Page in the cave. Oh, we can check over here as well, maybe. Oh, there is a cave here. And look, there's a page. I knew I missed something. Superpowers. Oh, my leg itches. Let's check this way. Ages. It's going to happen.
music's building up. Poopy music, why are you building up like this? place. I just heard a page. Oh, there's a page here. It's dark. We escaped to the forest. Someone, something tried to get in the tent. We heard strange sounds and an orange light. We are not going to escape from this. We are going to die! I don't know what's going on! I wanted to try! But I can't! Is that our exit that way? Oh, we're gonna go back this way. Let's try this way. Hello. I guess we're doing that. There is an achievement for finding a note in a cave, so I think we gotta keep looking. I've collected all articles.
That's me, Dad. Just despawned. No, we didn't. We're going this way then. nearby and the fucking beast is down there. Two more and I'm going to get. here. So let's keep exploring. She's slowed in, why don't you? Let 
to follow the totems. Eons. That's how long I spent, suspended in nothingness. And then this one time, a pale, dim glow filled it. I felt as if some consciousness started soaking through an orange cloud into my brain, dripping with heavy drops, not letting me pass away nice and peaceful. I fought with myself. It's that one. I had no strength to open my eyes. And finally, after processing the situation, oh, uh, on, I realized I have no eyes. Hey, we're back here again. I remember hearing the page around here. There's some up here. Well, there's a spooky tree anyway. Here's the board first. I guess that wasn't the one with the redness. 
Cause there might be a page in there just by one of those achievements I read. So we would be about here. Bar. So we have a save point now, hopefully. Yep. Oh, hey, that's all the save points now. Yee. How many notes have we gotten? So we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, twenty-seven. Many miscounted. Here, page. I don't there's a page here. See if I can find anything. page. There it is.
finger. Here's our campfire. What the hell was that noise? Bridge down there. That's that spot there, it looks like. Which means it's behind us is where I'm looking for. 4632.
Only could hear the whistling of a page, that would be helpful. That up there, maybe. Church there to my left. There's the bridge. So that's where we are. There. So if I get to that path. We are about here. So, if I look north. Up north. somewhere here is what I'm looking for. Somewhere. Found it. That's all the journal pages. All right, let's get back to the camp and then we walk back to the burning forest and There it is.
Okay, into the dark, deep forest we go. Spending my time in the Institute on long walks in the park. Only here I can find solace. Only in the shadows of the trees. My thoughts are peaceful when I see how the sun brushes the green leaves and the wind covers my face in a gentle, warm glow. The doctors say the worst is behind me. The breakdown was temporary difficult for me to say what triggered this state. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The tragedy that I've contributed to shall never find any justification or explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse not able to hide behind it. I take full responsibility for what happened. And I am prepared to be punished. The doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. I have to confess, I tricked you. I just do not like, I cannot read down the whole damn thing because I don't want to scroll for some reason. It's not a route out of place. We need to find the last location. Which according to this is sixty six seventy two. We found the cabin. direction. Yeah, I think it's this direction.
Wars. Yeah, there's the Dark Force. Oh, there's a hole. Shit. 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 Page by the cabin. That's how we got up here. I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world 
and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to! My only cellmate, Anton, whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. <coughs> Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. Saved the world yet? Sneaking out. Next, back to the center area, maybe. Yeah, I took out everything, so let's try and make our way back to the central area. Shit! Shit. 
shit, there's another one. I think I fell in the hole. Alright, we take the left path as soon as we get out here. turn. going on here Get the paper. And so we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? There are no random victims, and nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree, but when the gates to Section 22 open and the world will see true madness, you will understand. Everything I had done was necessary. Hey, we're gonna make it to the flame. That's all I'm gonna say. Doc, Doc, can you hear me? It's Anton. That's enough for today. The patient's results are deteriorating. Let's disconnect him. Shit! Turn it off! Quickly! Do it! He can hear us! Alright. That was a weird game. It was really not scary. Oh well, let's call that done anyway. Let's 
see what other horror games I can dig up. Hope some that are better. You said but we're done here. Say. Mm -hmm. 